Hi guys, it's me Jenny and welcome to your Health Matter channel. In our today's video, we are going to discuss about diabetes and swollen foot, how to get rid of it. But before we start, just a quick reminder. All content and information in this channel is strictly for informational and educational purposes only. It does not constitute medical advice. Therefore, if you wish to apply ideas contained in this channel, you are taking full responsibility for your action and always consult a professional in the area for your particular needs. So guys, if you are ready, let's get into it. The swollen foot is a common complication of diabetes. And in this video, you will know how to deal with it naturally. Let's talk a little bit about diabetes. Diabetes is a condition where the body does not produce any or enough insulin. Insulin is a hormone secreted by the pancreas. It helps your cells absorb sugar. Swelling in the feet and ankles is a common complication of diabetes. Watch this video to know how to deal with this problem naturally. If you have diabetes, you may have encountered swollen feet at some point in time. Sometimes, this becomes a chronic problem. Diabetes is a common problem suffered by many people around the world. Diabetes is a serious condition and, if left untreated, can lead to a serious health complications. You get diabetes when your pancreas does not produce enough insulin. This leads to the accumulation of sugar in your bloodstream. If you do not control this condition or neglect taking the prescribed medicines regularly, you may suffer from damage to the lining of the smaller blood vessels which can adversely affect blood circulation. This will lead to fluid accumulation in the legs, feet and ankles. And this is more common in diabetics who are also obese and have heart, liver and kidney problems. But sometimes, it may be because of venous insufficiency and poor circulation. And if you take a high dose of insulin, this may be a common problem for you. Let us see how you can deal with swollen feet or edema if you have a diabetes. Number 1. Compression Sacks Help If you have a swollen foot, you can try getting yourself a pair of compression sacks. These compression sacks maintain the right amount of pressure in your feet and legs and also improve blood circulation. And these sacks will also reduce the swelling in your ankles or legs. And for your information guys, these sacks are easily available today and you can order them online or get them from your pharmacy. But of course, it is better if you consult your doctor first before making the purchase. By consulting your doctor, he may be able to guide you on the brand and type of compression sacks that will work best for you. Number 2. Put your feet up while sitting or sleeping. For this reason, this will bring your feet above your heart level and induce a return flow of fluids from your feet. You can do this by placing pillows under your feet while sleeping or putting your feet up on another chair or stool if sitting for a long time. Number 3. Go for regular exercise. If you have diabetes, you need to exercise regularly. A sedentary lifestyle can increase the swelling in your foot. So ladies and gentlemen, if you have a diabetes, you have to get up and move around. For example, you can go for a walk around the block or in the park. And in fact, go for a 60-minute walk every day without fail. In this way, you can boost your circulation and you can reduce the swelling. Swimming and cycling are also good options and you can pick this up on a regular basis. Number 4. You have to get rid of your extra weight. Because obesity is leading this factor for diabetes. If you get rid of your extra weight, you will not only bring down your risk of chronic complications like heart disease, but also reduce the pressure on your legs and joints. And of course, it will keep your blood sugar levels stable and 
you will be less likely to suffer damage to your blood vessels. And number 5, limit your salt intake. Ladies and gentlemen, it's important to avoid excess salt intake. You can reduce your salt intake by, instead of more salt, use seasoning to add flavor to your food. A high sodium diet increases your risk of swelling in your feet and ankles. This is because it induces water retention. Just to be sure, you can ask your doctor about the amount of salt you must consume every day. Because eating too many salty foods can also make swelling worse. To cut back, eat more fresh fruits and vegetables and don't purchase processed foods and look for a low sodium canned goods. Number 6. Soak your feet in Epsom salt. Epsom salt is a magnesium sulfate compound that helps relieve pain and reduce swelling. You can do this by fill a foot bath or tub with water and pour a little Epsom salt into the water. Then, you soak your feet for about 15 to 20 minutes. If you have a diabetic neuropathy, you have to make sure you test the water temperature with your hands first to avoid injury to your foot. And maybe you are asking when to see a doctor. If your swelling is new, worsening or generalized, you have to see your doctor. So, they can diagnose your condition and determine which home remedies may be right for you. You should see your doctor for foot, leg or ankle swelling that doesn't improve with home remedies. And, you should also see a doctor for swelling that only occurs on one side of your body. Because, this could be a sign of deep vein thrombosis, which is a blood clot that develops in one or more of the deep veins in your legs. And this condition can cause pain, swelling, or have no symptoms at all. If you have a diabetes, it is important to check your feet on a regular basis for cuts, bruises, and other injuries. It is important to see a foot specialist periodically to check for a circulation problems or nerve damage in your lower extremities. And that's all for today guys. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of my video. Just a quick, if you don't mind, please do me a favor. Please hit the like and share button and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it will really help to support my channel and I will greatly appreciate it. Thank you and have a blessed day all and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!